Okay, hi everyone. We are here in Honeywood with The Sims 2, and we're going to try this again. So, first off, I meet Alexis Brandt. Um, that's who we're going to be playing today, and I will give you a quick introduction to her here in a moment. Um, but I'm going to let her get unpaused here because she's getting quite uncomfortable. And we will take care of her needs while I talk to you about Honeywood. So I made an attempt at introducing this um, town to you already in a previous video, and my audio was terrible. I think I have fixed it. I am not going to post this video if it's terrible. Um, so I have adjusted some settings, reconnected a mic, and I'm just hoping that everything is going okay. Um, but anyway, so this is the town of Honeywood, and this is my custom neighborhood that I have made in The Sims 2. And I'm going to be playing it rotationally. So I wanted to introduce you to this um, first household, um, Alexis, and play a little bit with her, with you. And hopefully we can turn this into a series and continue playing with Honeywood and see where we go. So I did, you know, design this entire town. Um, I built a lot of the lot, community lots, but not all of them. I did not build the houses, so I did download this house um, and then kind of update it a little bit. So if you see things throughout gameplay, I will let you know if I built it or if I downloaded it. But I did create Alexis. Um, Alexis is a family sim, and she wants to marry off six children. She loves nature. Oh, this poor cat. Let's just have you relax right here for a little bit. So she um, wants to marry off six children. She loves nature and all things related to the environment, weather. Um, nature is her one true hobby. And so... I see Alexis as someone who wants a big family, maybe to live on a farm one day. She's really got this like homemaker, housewife kind of vibe, and that's really what she wants out of life. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens in the town of Honeywood because we've got some interesting characters living here. And so Alexis lives on the outskirts of town here. As you can see, here's some town. Oh no, can we say, oh, we can't say hi to him. Um, we've got some community lots around her. We've got the career services. We've got a diner, a pet store, a bookstore, a little boutique. And this is actually an apartment complex um, across the street from her where several of our Sims live. And then she also has some um, neighbors <clears throat> on either side of her. So um, let's go introduce ourselves to Goopy, Gil's Carbo. Um, I did let the game keep all of the original townies um, because the town of Honeywood is a very small town with some new advancements but it is an older small town outside of SimCity and so there are some residents that have lived here for a while um, so that's why we're going to see some townies um, but the characters we're playing are all kind of fairly new to Honeywood and bringing their own spin um, to, to the town. So it'll be exciting for you guys to meet all of them. And if you want to put yourself through the pain of the previous video, I kind of talked to, I talk about several of them, but again, the audio was terrible. So hopefully from here on out, we're better. So we're going to work with Alexis here and she's going to, she does not have a job. Um, she has no skills. She's literally just starting out her adult life. She does have a cat, um, Forrest, who she adopted on her very first day, and she wants to be friends with the cat. Um, she also wants to be friends with Graham. So Graham is another new Sam in town, Graham Hewlett. We will be playing him. Um, he is gay, and he lives in the apartment complex across the street. So Alexis is straight, so I don't see her and Graham, obviously, um, getting together, but she does want to be his friend, so he could be a potential um, friend um, of, of the family. And Goopy here, we've never met him, but he just came to say hello, so we're going to chat with him. 
and see what that is about. It looks like her secondary aspiration is popularity. So while she is a family sim, she also um, wants to have a lot of friends. And her turn-ons and turn-offs are hard working and cleaning. So she wants to someone who's going to take care of her, basically. And she obviously doesn't like vampires. I, I The turn-offs, I usually make something crazy. So we can chit-chat here with Goopy for a moment, but I do want to work on getting to know the cat a little bit better. Where did that cat go? Okay, on the front porch. And becoming friends with Forrest. I don't know if... Forest is a boy or a girl. I don't remember. So we can just come give some love to our little cat here. I guess we could see. Um, I honestly don't even remember how to see if the cat is a boy or a girl. So I guess we will just go with it. And see, oh, she wants to be friends with everybody now. Okay. Um, pet friend. Okay, perfect. Now we're friends with the cat. So let's see, maybe we, oh, she wants to throw a party too. So maybe we can have a little housewarming party and invite some of these people that she wants to be friends with. Um, George, Brandy, and Graham. So I think that's honestly a good idea to get things going. So we will just do a little house party really quick. And she can serve... Some macaroni and cheese. She doesn't really like cooking, um, but that's okay. Uh, we can we can just pretend. <clears throat> I would say we could order pizza, but we honestly don't have a ton of money, so we probably won't do that. But I'm going to have her throw this party and invite her friends or the people she wants to be friends with, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, it looks like the guests are arriving, and I did just invite every single person that she knows. Um, and she re-rolled her once to have her very first woohoo. Um, we do have ACR, so I don't know what might happen at this party. I'm kind of just going to stand by and see what happens between everyone. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we will play Graham, um, but I think that is it. The rest of these are all town. So, it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens here. And if um, if Alexis meets anyone that she and she likes. So, here we all are. They're going to have some, oh, they're going to eat all of her food. Let's go ahead and put the refrigerator in our inventory. Oh, nope. Well, hopefully we can grab it here in a second and put it in her inventory so they stop eating all of her chips. Um, I don't really want them eating a bunch of... I'm just sitting here eating out of her fridge. Especially since she made some macaroni and cheese. And it said she wants to be friends with him. Have a pillow fight. So maybe we can just go ahead and do that even though it's not there anymore. I also, oh, Sandy Broody likes Goopy. Good to know. But I also don't want to do too much because I want her to kind of take the lead. Goopy, what are you doing in my bathtub? Seriously? Okay, she wants to be friends with George. So let's talk to him. Um, and she wants to dance with someone and pull a prank. Maybe we can pull a prank on George. Oh. Let's see if he... Oh, he did not like that. Okay. <gasps> he did not like that at all. Oh, dear. 
Well, the party is actually still going okay. It's not bad. Um, let's see. And she's not attracted to George. I honestly don't think she's going to find anyone here attractive because she really wants someone who is a hard worker. And I'm not sure if anyone here has a very successful career. But her and George can make amends, hopefully, and get to know each other a little bit more. She wants to dance with someone, but we don't have any music. <laughs> so we'll kind of just let it play out and see what happens. That's enough talking to George, even though you want to be his friend. Um, it looks like she's just going to have a seat here on the couch. Is anyone going to join her? It doesn't look like it. I'm afraid nothing is going to be too exciting at this party because... No one is really attracted to anyone. Um, we'll ask him to join us. And we will have to get in the shower very soon, though. And it looks like Goofy put on his pajamas. Like, does he think he's staying the night? What is he doing? Goodness. We do still want to be friends with George, so we can nurture this relationship a little bit. Um, influence someone to appreciate another sin. I think in order to do that, we would have to get up off the couch. Let's see if we can have her appreciate George. Hey, Brandy, I think you should appreciate George a little bit more. He is my friend, or I'm hoping he is my friend. Okay, now, oh, look at these two, Graham and Melissa. I thought Graham was gay. Maybe he's not. Completely. Let's see if we can give him a friendly hug. Everyone needs to go to the restroom, and I only have one. Um, we'll tell him a little joke and appreciate him a little bit because we're very close to being friends with him. So, and she wants to have a good party. Hopefully this all works out well. And honestly, I don't know what she's going to do for money because... She has not rolled the one to get a job. Um, let's see if we can do a little tickle. Yes, now we're his friend. Perfect. And he lives in the apartment complexes. She wants to meet someone new. That might have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to put away this food, and once everyone leaves, we're going to get in the shower, in the bed, and see her in the morning. But the party should be ending very soon. Oh my goodness. Let's just see if we can ask everyone to leave. If we can ask everyone to leave, then I can get in here and take a shower. Okay, there we go. Goodbye, everyone. The party ended up being a good time, which is good. I'm happy with that. Oh, no! Was this a disaster? Is it because I asked them to leave? Oh, no. I hate that. Okay, well, I'm sorry for asking everyone to leave, but it was so late and I need to get in the bed. Okay, well, we will see her in the morning. Goodness gracious.
Okay, it's the next morning, and she's rolled the one to be best friends with Graham and to be friends with George again. Um, and that's just that popularity stem coming out. Um, we're going to clean up a little bit, grab some breakfast, and see where the day takes us. Um, she also wants to play with the cat, play with Forrest. So we can work on that as well. Okay, so we're out here playing with Forrest, and we're going to praise, um, I think it's, a, I think she's a girl, so I praise her for um, being off the furniture, um, give her a little hug, all of that, and she wants to meet someone new as well. So what we might do is head to one of the community lots to see if we could meet someone. Um... I'm not sure where she would want to go. There is a little park nearby, so maybe we will walk there. Um, this little this little area has a little park and a... Um, we might just actually go to the community park, to be honest, because there is a big community park that I built. So maybe we should, we should head there. Let me have her change into her everyday clothes. And we could head over to to the community park that I built because it's a very fun place. There's lots to do and lots of people tend to go there. So that would be a good spot. We'll leave the cat here. So Honeywood Public Park. Let's head on over and see if we can meet someone. She does love nature, so this will give her a good opportunity to be outside and all that. Okay, here we are at the park. Let's see. Of course, her wants have re-rolled, and she now just wants to learn anger management. Um, but this is the park. I did build this um, community lot. It looks like here we have Melissa Fancy again. Um, here is one of the other Sims that I've created that we will play. And I can't remember his name. Jacob Freeman. Jacob is a businessman. And he, um, I think he's gay. He wants to own five businesses. And he's not the nicest sim, so it'll be funny to see how he interacts with some people around the town. We've got James Cooper back here, which is also a sim that I created. And I'm sorry you can hear my child. But it looks like Alexis is hitting it off with Jacob, pushing him on the swing. Um, let's see if there's anything else she could do around here. I should have put some plants for some gardening, but I didn't. Um, maybe she could come play some soccer. Let's see. Oh, now she's going to push Brandy. Okay, here she is meeting James Cooper, who is another Sim in town, and <clears throat> she thinks he's attractive, so I honestly don't remember if he's straight or not. Um, I know he lives in the apartments across the street. She just has one bolt with him, but it's the first Sim that she's actually found attractive, so... We will let them chit-chat for a little bit. They both have red hair, which is kind of cute. I don't remember everything about James, but we will get to know him when we when we get to his house. And she made some hot dogs for everyone. It looks like they all enjoyed it. So, they're very cute here. I do believe this being a public pool, there is, um, there's showers in here, so we could go use a shower. She's obsessed with the swings. Oh, he wants to charm her. Let's, let's let this happen and see where this goes. 
Oh no. She's not into it. Sorry, James. We were not into that. So we're going to walk back home. It's getting kind of late. He's going to try one more time telling her a joke. But she's not really into it right now. Maybe after she goes home and thinks about it for a little bit, she might reconsider. But we're going to have her head home. Okay, we're back at home. We got some bills. So let's get the mail and see um, how much those are. It looks like... 58. Oh, that's what that's there for. You know, this was a custom content little thing, and so they put their bills there, and you don't lose them. That's perfect. Um, 58 is not too terrible, but we are going to need to think about some money. Um, again, she's not real to want to get a job, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. We'll clean up a little bit, and maybe we can call George on the phone and talk to him to see if we can become friends. Okay, we're going to chat here with George um, for a minute. They are not exactly super close to being friends, but this should give them a bit of a boost. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think we're going to wrap it up here just for this day with Alexis and this episode. Um, I might be able to do a longer episode next time, but for today, this is all I'm able to get done. But I just wanted to, to introduce you to her and to test out my audio again um, and kind of see what she's up to and what we think is going to happen here. I'm a little nervous um, to see who she ends up with, if anybody. Um, it's probably going to have to be a townie, but I'm just not sure who yet. Uh, but I hope she does find someone and is able to have those six kids that she wants, but she needs to get a move on. <laughs> Because six kids is a lot. So she's going to make herself some spaghetti here. And we're going to wrap things up. And when we come back the next time, we will um, either finish playing her through the fall. Or I may play her off camera. And we may introduce a new, a new household in the next episode. Um, so let me know down below what you would prefer. Would you prefer I come back and finish playing through the entire season with Alexis? Or would you like me to do an introduction, an introduction to another household um, first? So let me know down below and subscribe if the audio is much better and you want to stay up to date on my channel and if it's working, hopefully. Um, and as always, thank you guys for being here and I will see you in the next one.